everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I have sort of a fig hack for you guys in today's video. We have six custom championship belts as people try to interrupt me with text messages like they try to do every single day. However, guys, you can see we have six championships here on this little GM's table. You can see we still got our TLC mess going on in the background, but I was playing around with my championship belts. I've seen some people do these in the past, and I figured I think a lot of you guys would get a kick out of this. You can use Mattel championship belts without painting, without customizing, without, you know, having to sculpt, dremel, whatever the crap the case is you can actually make custom championship belts for your pick feds for your just WWE figure matches for your stop motion whatever you want to do you can make custom belts without even having to paint sculpt or do any of that trash what you have to do is you take two championships and um, what I've done is just sort of switch some plates around and they pretty much make original championship belts as you guys can see here this is the original WWE championship and this was the Universal Championship all I did was switch out the plates you'll see on the back here you can see these little notches and um, all you have to do is just unplug them you like pull the rubber and you like push it through and it comes unhooked like that some of them are tougher than others uh, some are pretty easy I actually had to heat up one of them to uh, get it a little uh, loose and stretchy so that I could stretch it over it um, without breaking it but you guys can see, you can make your own original championships. I can't remember who and or who created this first. I think I've seen a ton of people on Instagram do this before. I know that a lot of people have done it. The Universal Championship with the WWE title plates looks great, and the Universal or the WWE Championship with the Universal title plates look great. I think that if they did a SmackDown version, it would be even more sick. But um, you guys can see, these are two of the belts that you can easily make for your pick feds. Again, if you you know don't want the exact replica of the WWE or the exact replica of the Universal, you just switch around the plates and you guys can see what a fantastic result that you get out of that. Um, also, we have three other championships using the Universal Championship as the base. The first one that we have right here, I think I saw this from Wide Figs or somebody on Instagram, but you replace that middle plate with the U.S. Championship, and look at that. Now you have like your own red strap uni or U.S. title. It looks very, very nice, and I like it a lot. You know, the red ties in nicely. Uh, the same side plates as the Universal Championship, so it doesn't look bad at all. I think that, you know, you put this on a figure. I think it works well. This, this plate fits the strap pretty well. Um, it still has that point going down in the middle there, so you don't get any, uh, you know, misalignments or anything. So the U.S. Championship on the Universal title strap looks very, very clean. I dig that a lot. Another one that we have, I think Wad Figs did this one as well. And he put the Big Eagle Championship on the Universal Championship strap. So I guess the Universal Championship is fun to use just because, you know, it's red. So it gives it a little bit different look than the rest of the championships. Most of the championship belt straps are black besides, you know, the Cruiserweight and the old Intercontinental and then, of course, the white strap Intercontinental. But the red strap really makes it look clean. You got some red details under the WWF logo. So it really ties in nicely with the blue uh, globe and everything. And the side plates, again, look really good with this championship. I know the, you know, the middle doesn't look the great. But I still think that you could use it for a fed, you know, if you didn't want the regular old championship It's a cool way to make your own custom titles for your pick feds So that is that one the next one that we have is sort of cool It doesn't fit all the way and I'm kind of disappointed with the way it worked out But if you look at it straight on it looks sick AF it kind of looks like I think his name's Amokali belts on Instagram or something like that he makes custom championship belts and um, He made a real replica rated R spinner and it had a red stripe, I do believe, and it looks so sick. If I can find a picture of it, I'll pop it up on the screen so you guys can see what that looks like. But I think it looks bad AF with these side plates, with this center plate that still spins, by the way. And uh, with the red strap tying into the red star, and you, know, you guys know the Edge's main colors were black and red. So I think that this one's very sick. You know, if Edge is your champion on your fed, you can break this out. Again, on the back, though, it does, like, have, like, a warpage in it, which is unfortunate. I think if you put it on, it may still work. I mean, yeah, I don't think it's that noticeable. There is some warpage, though. Like, if you just lay it here... Um, you guys can see there's a, like, a little gappy right there, but it's not too bad. Again, I, I think this this one may be my favorite up next to the uh, one I'm about to show you, but uh, this one's very nice. I do dig that a lot. If you added paint detail, like you added some silver to the side plates and stuff, you could really bring out the rest of the championship. But the last belt we have was originally made by Hey Zeus, my boy Hey Zeus on Instagram, Hey Zeus Customs. He's an absolute beast, one of my good friends, and uh, he put the... Oval Intercontinental Championship middle plate on the white strap Intercontinental Championship of today. And I think it turns out nice. It kind of looks just like the Intercontinental Championship except a white strap. But it is the uh, new plates uh, or the new Intercontinental titles side plates with the oval in the middle. 
but I think it looks great. I think he uses this for his uh, Instagram pick fed, and I think the strap, you know, the shape is nice, and it looks, I think it looks beautiful. I'm actually really uh, satisfied with this. When I saw this on Instagram, I thought, holy crap, I need to do this. So this is another easy custom championship that you need to make. I'll go ahead and run through every figure belt that you'll need to make these. Uh, you'll need the white strap Intercontinental Championship of today, and then the oval Intercontinental Championship that came with Rikishi in the Hall of Champions. You will need the Rated R Championship spinner belt that came in the Ring have exclusive championship collectors pack and of course a universal championship the next one you will you will need the big eagle championship either the one that came with the best of attitude era stone cold the uh defining moments chris jericho and then of course a universal championship uh the next you'll need a u.s title that comes with basically every single figure that we've ever gotten and a universal championship and then the last two you will need a wwe championship and then a regular universal championship so, so to make a bunch of these you need a universal title literally four of them um then a regular wwe and then of course a white intercontinental strap but I thought you guys would get out a kick out of that. I thought that they were pretty freaking sweet. I like them. I like the way they came out. I don't know if I'll leave them like this, but I figured it would be a nice fig hack for you guys to check out. If you do want to make custom belts for your pick fed and you don't want to paint, you don't want to sculpt, you don't want to have to dremel or anything, these are very simple championships that you can make yourself without any of that outside stuff. But that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did learn something from today's video. If you did, let me know down in the comment section below if you've ever made these. Do you like any of them? Which one is your favorite? Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.